Hello and welcome to another video in Photoshop series. In this video, we are trying to put a logo on a flat surface. For this video, we have taken a picture of this um, slightly grayish table, whitish gray table, as you can see, and we are trying to put a logo on this table. And it should look natural, it should look like the logo was already there when the photo was taken. So the surface is flat but our logo is kind of vertical when we are seeing the logo like we have this the NetGurus logo it's obviously not flat or horizontal it's vertical right and we have another logo of NetGurus which we put on our videos so we are going to put both these logos on this table okay so let's start by copying this logo and the one thing that you should keep in mind is that the logo should be in PNG format with transparent background okay otherwise it won't look natural so we have selected by going to select all or you can do ctrl A and ctrl C on your keyboard so you can see the dotted lines are blinking that means it is selected now coming to our table and we are going to paste it. Let's paste this image. So you can see the logo is pasted. Now the tool that you are going to use for this purpose is a skew tool. Okay, so go to edit, transform and a skew. Now the skew tool is active. So what we are going to do is align these corners with the edges of the table. Okay, so first of all let's align this side with this side of the table okay so we do it like this don't worry the logo will look fine uh, I think it's almost aligned in parallel with the surface of the edge of the table okay now let's align this side with the um, invisible side of the table that size that side is not uh, visible but you can understand that it will be parallel to this side okay so let's try to align it okay it should be something about like this okay now coming to this side we can easily align it with this side of the table okay let's bring it forward and so that should be fine and so since this side of the table is not visible you can assume that the table edges will be parallel to this side of the table because it's a rectangle so we can make it parallel to this side okay so that should be fine okay I assume yep and now the logo is almost flat on the table but to maintain the aspect ratio of the image you come to this width and height and make it same like this is 126 this is 125 let's make it both 125 okay or if you want to reduce the size let's reduce the size of this logo because it is quite huge on the table let's make it um, 80 by 80 okay that is better and you click on this commit transform button and the logo is as you can see flat on the table okay it is looking like it was there on the table when the photo was taken okay let's come to our second logo we'll do the same thing first we will select it select all or you can press ctrl a and ctrl c let's copy it now the image is copied coming to our table let's paste it so here is our vertical logo and we will make it flat on the table go to the transform skew tool and again we will try to align the logo to the edges of the table like this this side will be aligned with this side of the table and this side will be aligned with the right side of the table okay You have to do it one by one. Okay. So this is 
not coming in shape uh, slightly more on this side yes this side should be in parallel to this side and this side should be parallel to this side the logo is almost flat on the table now let's fix the aspect ratio by making the width and height same as you can see it is quite out right now 145 and 236 let's make it um, 100 by 100 100 by 100 what is too small let's make it 120 by 120 okay this side is slightly off let's fix it yes that should be better okay let's hit the commit button and as you can see the logo is there on the table it is flat and looking like it was there on the table when the photo of this table was taken okay so that is all for this video hope you have enjoyed it thanks for watching bye bye